Now it is the one, the only E1. Oh! Ago, and uh, my neighbor, she like massage it, you know, and uh, all the pain went away, right? It worked really well. So I was like, man, you know, I'm gonna go back there later after this. Yeah, this time for a pulled groin. <laughs> and you know, there's a lot of uh, controversy over uh, Kamala Harris's race, right? Like, is she Indian or is she black, you know? And the fact is, you know, her mom is Indian and her dad is black, you know? I know the media just wants us to focus in on her black half, but I tell you what, the second she becomes president, Every 7-Eleven is going to be about free Slurpees. <laughs> yeah, most people don't know this about me, but uh, I lost like 200 pounds last year. Right. Yeah, I got divorced. Yeah, <laughs> yeah my dog, she's a, whatever, miniature pitcher. But when she was a little puppy, I couldn't tell what kind of breed she was. And then some guy asked me, is that a wiener dog? But I didn't know what he meant by that. I was like, wiener dog? No, she's a girl. <laughs> hey, you ever seen that picture of Bigfoot, you know, where it's like this or whatever? That's actually taken from a film, a five minute film of Bigfoot walk through the woods. And I was watching this documentary once and uh, they were showing that film. And I think that Bigfoot is actually real because when they show the film, they, you can see that that Bigfoot is a female. Yeah, you could clearly see that Bigfoot has breasts, you know? And you clearly see him just swaying around as she's walking. And so it must be real, right? Because it feels fake. Why would they put boobs on it, you know? They wouldn't do that, right? <laughs> and uh, for not having a bra or anything, they're actually well formed, you know? I was like, wow, you know? Bigfoot's got some nice tits. <laughs> you know, like, what is this, Sasquatch gone wild and shit? Yeah, it's crazy, right? Like, never in a million years would I ever think I'd be jerking off to Bigfoot. <laughs> Korean food's like really, it's not good at all, right? It's horrible. And uh, we don't even have like proper like cookies or cakes or anything like that. No, we have tok. Right? If you don't know what tok is, it's like this pounded rice cakes, you know? And uh, some of it's okay, right? Like we have these tok balls and it has like sesame jam in the middle. But most of tok doesn't taste like anything, right? It tastes like rice. What does rice taste like, right? And this is what we eat for celebrations and shit. Like during a wedding, you know, you see mounds of tok like all over the fucking place. And it's colorful, and it looks cool, you know, but it's just so bland and tasteless. Yeah, it's like Dane Cook's jokes. <laughs> yeah, you know, I don't think it's cool to eat like baby animals, right? Like veal or, uh, you know, lamb, right? It's like, why do they have to be babies? You know, why can't you just let them grow up a bit? Yeah, I know in Korea, we only eat adult dogs. <laughs> You know, if you don't know how to use chopsticks, you should probably learn, right? Because, like, Asian people, when we see you fumbling with your chopsticks, we lose all respect for you, you know? And yeah, we're like, uh, so you don't know how to eat? Well, let's just be friends then. <laughs> yeah, I used to love fishing, you know, when I was a kid. But I think because when I was a kid, I used to actually catch fish and shit. Yeah, this past 20 years, I've been trying, I've been fishing, you know, I haven't caught anything. All I'm doing now is standing in the sun with a fishing pole getting skin cancer. That dude comes by, he's like, you catch anything? <laughs> yeah, melanoma. Yeah. You know, I grew up uh, near Pasadena, and uh, most of my classmates were white, right? And so none of them ever thought of, you know, none of the girls ever thought of me as good looking, right? Because I'm Asian, I look weird, right? And so that's how I always thought about myself until uh, I was 15, and then I went to South Korea for the first time. And it was just like that movie, uh, Kung Fu Panda 3. I don't know if you've ever seen that, like, where he goes back to Panda Land, you know? He's like, whoa, oh, everyone looks just like me, right? And so yeah, like, not only was my mind blown, but so was my dick. <laughs> yeah, you know, in America, I don't know, women around here would like rate me like as a four or a five. But in South Korea, I was a 9.9. .9. Yeah, I was like the tallest guy in the whole country and shit. And I have an American accent, you know? And so for a Korean girl, born and raised in Korea, all of a sudden you see this Korean dude walk around with an American accent. It was like, fire crotch, you know? Yeah, I was only 15, I had grown women just like throwing their pussies at me and shit. I was like, oh, oh shit, here you go, man. It was awesome, man, so. Yeah, I'm totally gonna go back, you know? My plan is to be a famous comedian, and go back to Korea and spend the rest of my days knee deep in a rice paddy full of pussy. You know what you call someone who's like mixed like black and Asian? 
we call them Blasians, right? And some who's mixed like Mexican and Asian, well, you can either call them Mexicans or Asians. Right? You know what we call a guy who's mixed white and Asian? Asshole. <laughs> and Korea, the national dog of Korea is called the Chindoke. It looks kind of like a husky, right? But it's blonde and it has curly tail and it tastes like ham. <laughs> Yeah, Koreans, we have uh, Thanksgiving, right, like everyone else. But uh, we celebrate with our dead relatives, right? It's called Chuseok, and uh, what we'll do, we'll set a place for our relatives, and we'll put our pictures there, right? Like for us, it's my two grandparents and my aunt that passed away. And then throughout the meal, we'll like take a bite of food from their plates, you know, and then put it like in this bowl. And same with liquor, right? We'll get like the shot of soju, and we'll like swish it around this uh, incense, and we'll, like pour into this bowl, you know? It's like they're there with us, eating and drinking. And then uh, it's kind of like that whole like pouring beer onto the sidewalk, you know, for the dead homies. But we do it with food, right? And we also use our, their favorite food. Like uh, my grandmother, her favorite food was a certain type of fish. It was like this red snapper. And so we always put that in front of a picture. And then my aunt, like she liked this uh, pork belly, right? It was like these thick slabs of bacon, kind of. And we put that in front of her picture. Now for my grandfather, we'll take my grandmother's picture and we'll put it under his like this. Because him, his favorite thing to eat was my grandmother's pussy. <laughs> you know they say elephant never forgets, right? That's true, until it's their turn to take out the fucking trash. And you know they said uh, Disneyland's the happiest place on earth. Uh, that's just if you're a little kid. Yeah, if you're a grown man, I'd say the happiest place on earth is South Figueroa Street. <laughs> And they say California is now number one in road rage in the whole nation. Finally, all my hard work's paying off. Yeah, you know that whole little dick Asian thing? I actually came to uh, work to my advantage a couple months ago. Yeah, I was at this open mic at this bar, and this little five foot two petite French lady, she, she like totally singled me out, you know? And I think she was thinking like, hey, look at this Asian guy. He's probably got a lot of money, little dick. Wrong. Yeah, I'm an open mic comedian, you know? I don't have any money. <laughs> And I, you know, I have a normal sized dick. Yeah, I know, because I was in the army. Oh, I should have told you that before. Yeah, I was like, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, you know, was like, so when she first saw it, she was like, oh my god, your dick is huge, right? I was like, it's not that big, but thanks. <laughs> yeah, you know, like, uh, it's not the biggest, longest in the world, but it is a bit girthy, right? So upon initial insertion, she was like, ah! Yeah, you know, like hurting someone with your dick is like the manliest thing you could ever do, right? Yeah, I can almost feel like like ancestors like patting me on the back and shit. <laughs> yeah, I suggest all you guys like to date women that are at least six inches or more shorter than you, you know? When I saw my dick in her little hands, I was like, well, maybe I do have a big dick. Dang. It was awesome, you know, I felt like a porn star being with her and shit. I was like, I should give myself a porn star name. That could be E1. Ooh. <laughs> Have you ever seen these uh, billboards all over town about this uh, blind mountain climber, right, that climbed to the top of Mount Everest? But I was, it's really inspiring, you know? But then I was thinking, well, how do you know he's on top of Mount Everest? Like, for all he knows, he could have been on top of Mount Whitney, just like right over there. Yeah, and I was thinking, that's actually a pretty good business idea. And yeah, getting paid to take blind mountain climbers up to the top of Mount Everest? <laughs> And you know, a lot of important things were invented in China, right? Like uh, paper, the compass, gunpowder. But one thing definitely not invented in China, though. Driving. <laughs> yeah, you know, I've had sex with all different types of women, like white, black, Hispanic, Asian. In my opinion, Asian women give the best blowjobs. Yeah. If any of you ladies like to prove me wrong, you can meet me in the bathroom after my set. <laughs> Yeah, you know, a couple weeks back, I was sitting here doing comedy. This dude sitting right there giving me the Jada Pinkett face. You ever seen the Jada Pinkett face? It's when they're staring at you like, eh. I was like, what the fuck, dude? Don't be sitting there giving up Jada Pinkett face. You better knock that shit off before I get to the Will Smith hand. <laughs> and you know, comedians will always tell you two things, right? They always tell you when they just get booked on a show. They always tell you when they just had sex. That's a bit juvenile, right? Like myself, I haven't been booked on a show in months. But I did get late last week, so whoa. I'm gonna do one of my thank you. Thank you.
Even over, he won, baby. Fuck yes. Goddamn. And by the way, he won.